Hello guys, so today it's all about Salesforce Lightning. Don't worry, this is not what Lightning means in Salesforce. Salesforce Lightning is a new, modern, beautiful and fast user experience of Salesforce. And it is called Lightning just because it helps sales staff close deals lightning fast. This new user experience makes Salesforce a lot more interactive and easy to use as compared with the previous user experience of Salesforce which we term as Salesforce Classic. Before Salesforce Lightning, Salesforce only lagged in user experience when compared with the other cloud-based CRMs. But now, those CRMs are trying to cope up with the Lightning experience. Salesforce Lightning is greatly influenced by the rise of mobile. What that means is that initially, Lightning experience came into the Salesforce One mobile app. And when the users liked the Salesforce One user experience, they wanted the same experience to be in the desktop version of Salesforce also. Hence, Salesforce rolled out this feature in the Winter 16 release for the users in the desktop version too. Lightning experience basically started with the sales app only, but now has come for the service app too, but in a beta version in Spring 17 release. Lightning experience is not completely capable of removing the Salesforce Classic, but it is still coming out with new features after every release. Some popular features of Lightning experience are first, dynamic UI and responsiveness. Second is the home page which can be customized to a great extent as compared to the Salesforce Classic. A real-time dashboards which refreshes automatically and show the real-time insights of the business. And the most popular, Opportunity Kanban View. Opportunity Kanban View shows the list of records arranged in a way so that you can focus on the opportunity records that need your attention. In this Kanban View, opportunity records are divided into columns according to the stages available on that particular record type. And you can just simply drag and drop the opportunity records whose stages you want to change. Just like this. This Kanban view basically helps you to track deals, visualize progress and close the business with an overall great experience. Isn't it fun now to do sales with the Salesforce? Just because of the Lightning experience? Lightning experience is for all the existing and new users and all of these users can easily switch between Lightning experience to Salesforce Classic and from Salesforce Classic to Lightning experience. Thus by using a switch under their name in the Salesforce. Just like this. And if you are an existing customer and you are unable to see this switch, then you just need to enable lighting experience from the setup menu. And after that, you'll be able to see this switch. It can be enabled at user level, profile level or an organization level. What that means is that if you want to enable lighting experience for a particular user, you can do that at user level. If you want to enable lightning experience for a particular type of users, you can do that at a profile level. And if you want to like enable lightning experience for your whole organization, you can do that at organization. But before enabling lightning experience in your org, you first need to qualify your org for it. And for that, you have to go through multiple steps before enabling lightning experience. No doubt that lightning experience came in with lots of features and a great user experience. But still, there are limitations and issues in it. Like, first, not all the features of Salesforce Classic are available in lightning experience. And for that, we need to switch back to Salesforce Classic to do that. Second, not all app exchange apps are lightning ready. That means supports lightning. All the apps which are available on app exchange are not lightning ready yet. But in a year or two, all the apps which are not lightning ready will be unpublished by the app exchange and like the ISVs and the app vendors who have published their apps on the app exchange and they haven't updated it to support the lightning or to make it lightning ready will be unpublished. Third, Salesforce lightning is slow. Yes, I know it's contradictory to the lightning fast speed, but Salesforce is working to make it fast as straight. Fourth, after enabling the Salesforce lightning experience in our org, we are not able to use Salesforce One mobile app 
in the desktop with the help of URL salesforce.com slash one slash one dot app. If you have already enabled the lightning experience in your org, then you'll see the desktop version of the lightning experience. If you'll type salesforce.com slash one slash one dot app. And if you have not enabled lightning experience, then you'll get a runtime exception. Fifth, custom JavaScript code is also not supported by lightning experience if you require to embed it somewhere. So these are the most popular issues which we face with Salesforce lightning and there are a bunch of others also, but Salesforce is working every day to improve lightning experience. We have a great future with Salesforce Lightning, but that doesn't mean that the Salesforce Classic will be a part of past because Sara Wani, SVP of Marketing of Sales Cloud of Salesforce, stated that the Salesforce will support the Classic experience indefinitely. Hence, no need to worry, just enjoy the Lightning experience and work with ease. And whenever you miss the old Classic experience, then just switch back to the Classic version and work over there. Now don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the lightning speed because this is all about lightning experience and especially if you're watching this video on Facebook then hit the link down in the description go to that YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button so see you next week until then bye bye take care